if we're going down the path of, of going coaching, um, a hundred percent, this top line, it needs to have the word coaching, uh, business coach in there. Yeah. Um, I like how you did the, how to get something without doing, uh, something else. It's always good. Um, so how to generate qualified leads every day for your business. Um, instead of saying every day, um, it's kind of a psychology thing. Instead of saying every day, every day sounds like a, um, not as tangible. If you can, if you can word it in a way where it sounds like, um, how to get something right now. Um, okay. every day is almost like saying, um, you know, sometime in the future or sometime some intangible, um, future. So in other words, uh, what I would say instead could be, um, how to generate qualified leads or how to generate more qualified leads for your coaching business. Um, if you have a straight up funnel, do you have actual case studies? Yeah. Yeah. Not massive oh. ones, but yes. Oh, that's right. You know what? I've got another two since I wrote this. Okay. Do you have um, numbers for how many leads were created or how many um, sales dollars? Oh wait. Oh, here it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's huge. Forget this headline. Get rid of it. Kill it. If it's going to be straight up funnel, you need to talk about the result right away. Okay. Uh, my favorite. I'm going to mess with this for a second. You know how much time it was to get that 10,000 10, pounds? Uh, I think it was like two months. Okay. It's, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of the initial... So yeah, each one of those clients, because that's just two months worth of fees. Each one of those clients is worth two thousand four hundred pounds a month, so they're worth like twenty eight grand a year. Oh wow! Okay, so so this ten thousand dollars is multiple clients, and they're like recurring. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, whatever that number is, I would add that up, um, and even bit of create a bigger number. But yeah, and that's would... not going to tripwire Facebook's whole monetary claim thing. Right. So um, did you see the post from Kat Howell about the income disclaimer? I did. Yeah. But I've also okay. seen in a couple of other groups, people just being like, it's just not working. I've never been disapproved. I write stuff okay. like this all the time. Um, okay. and, and, you know, you can go back and do reviews and change it if you want. I mean, it's probably worth going through a disapproval if you can get it approved because yep. I mean, this copy just kills it, yes. you know? I have a friendly face at, at um, UK Facebook that I have his email address and I'm good to him. So, <laughs> Ooh, that's awesome. yeah, so it's really handy. Um, so I do get quite a lot of stuff pushed through or else I get a kind of good reason as to why it needs to change rather than just your crappy disapprovals. So, all right, I will give that's it a awesome. shot. Yeah, no, I'll definitely do that. Um, uh, okay, so the generated 10,000 or... 10,000. Is, is that pounds? Is that the right currency? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can, how you can, so this is just general ideas. Um, whoops. It's supposed to be with your business. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I would just, yeah. Headline, obviously the biggest thing. I would change something like that. Anything, any headlines with numbers in it or percentages are much more uh, believable and it's more tangible to people. Okay. So that's something I always prioritize is, can I get numbers in here? Um, and of course, whenever you have numbers, you have to back it up with some credibility later on. So just yep. keep that in mind whenever you trigger that. Um, okay, so that's a headline. Um, one thing I noticed so just to, in general, whenever I first pull up a landing page to review, um, I just kind of do a quick scroll through to see if anything like pops out to me or if anything's like not, not pleasing to the eye or hard to read. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, one thing I noticed is I don't see a single photo. Is this, is this a real photo? Yes. Okay. I couldn't, I couldn't tell. Um, I didn't see a photo until I got to the very bottom. Okay. Um, having a face near the top. Um, definitely improves uh, conversion. Um, there's, there's another tracking search, and you can you can Google this one too. It was another research where I don't know, it was like 60% more t 
time was spent on a website with faces. Um, so obviously you want to get this, move this up or something like this further, further up, um, just to have a face in there so people can, their attention can be grabbed and maintained. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. 